Welcome to this Football Manager 2018 experiment where I'm going to take a closer look at a save from my 100 simulations Football Manager 2018 World Cup experiment. And today we're going to have a look at the 15th simulation which was a surprise win for Serbia. This is one of the popular choices from you guys in the comments section. You wanted to have a look at this one. I know there's a lot of Serbians following my channel so I thought I'd have a look at this ex this experiment simulation they managed to beat Spain in the final really impressive stuff this was quite a low scoring competition compared to others because you can see Cristiano Ronaldo top goal score of only five goals which is much lower I mean that's probably closer to what, what it would be in real life uh, six does seem to be the most common golden boot score in um, past World Cups but on this we do seem to be getting a lot of eights which is really interesting. Isco managed to win the Best Player Award as well. Uh, Serbia won the final 1-0 in extra time. So we're going to have a deeper look at this. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you go and check out the original video where I holidayed 100 simulations of the 2018 World Cup. There is the chance to get involved in a community database as well. I'll link that video in the description below as well, where you guys can simulate your own World Cup, submit them to me, and I'm going to make a video and uh, I don't know how many we're going to have in the end, but hopefully plenty. So once again, we will start with the group stages. But first of all, I'm just going to show you the Serbian squad that won the World Cup. What an achievement, eh? These are the 23 men that were involved. I've left current ability and potential ability. And they're using the in-game editor just for those interested to see how good these players are. They're certainly not really up there with the likes of Brazil, Germany, Belgium, Spain. But... They've managed to win a World Cup, so it's very, very impressive from them. Anyway, as you can see, just like the last save I looked at, which was the Panama save, where they managed to finish fourth, by the way. So you can check that out if you want to see how Panama finished fourth. Uh, Uruguay and Russia qualified from Group A once again with seven points. Uruguay do seem to score plenty of goals, I must say. They beat Saudi Arabia 4-1 and Egypt 4-2. Egypt did get a win against Saudi Arabia 4-0. I mean, Saudi Arabia, torrid time for them, losing 4-1, 4-0, and 2-0, and not great. Uh, Spain and Portugal went through from group, group B. That's what is to be expected, but sometimes Portugal didn't actually make it. I'm not sure if Spain ever were knocked out in the group stage. I might come across one at some point. Uh, Spain beat Iran and Morocco comfortably, but they did draw against Portugal 1-1. Morocco drew twice, once against Iran and once against Portugal. Group C was won by France once again. They won all three games. They beat Denmark, Australia, and Peru. 5-0 win against poor old Peru. Peru done all right in some of my simulations, though, so this just wasn't one of them. They did actually beat Australia. I think Australia could be the worst performing team. Them and Japan, maybe. Uh, I haven't seen Australia qualify when looking through, but I might come across one at some point. Uh, Denmark also went through. They beat uh, Australia and Peru, they beat Peru 4-1, and Peru did actually beat Australia uh, as well. It's not great for Australia. Argentina went through from Group D. Uh, they won two games. They beat Iceland and Nigeria. Iceland did manage to draw their other two games, though, which is not bad. Croatia, of course, drew against Nigeria and Iceland as well. So, yeah, that's quite an interesting group. Brazil went through ahead of Serbia, I guess on goal difference, but of course, Serbia went on to win the World Cup. That's all that matters. Brazil won against Switzerland and Costa Rica, but drew against Serbia. Serbia beat Costa Rica and Switzerland as well there. Mexico and Sweden went through from Group F with Germany going out again. We've seen Germany be knocked out at the group stage a few times. I'm actually, actually taking part in a football manager World Cup thing that someone's put together, and I'm going to be managing Germany. Um, and I, everyone's probably thinking I should easily sail through with Germany, but maybe not because from the simulations they did underachieve. Uh, I know Germany are the favourites in real, real life, I think, with Brazil, but I just I can't. Ooh, maybe it's not going to be as easy as everyone thinks for me managing Germany. But yeah, Mexico, really impressive stuff. They beat South Korea 4-2 and Germany 1-0. Sweden beat Germany 1-0 and South Korea 3-2. Germany only got one win against South Korea. England went through winning all three games in Group G. Beat Belgium 3-0, very impressive win. Belgium did go through, though, with two comfortable wins, more than comfortable wins against Tunisia and Panama. And lastly, Poland went through easily. They do seem to be doing very well, actually. Uh, Colombia lost all three games. They lost 
4-3 against Senegal. 2-0 against Poland and Japan won. So maybe Australia are the worst performing team because I've not actually seen them win a game yet, I don't think. I might be wrong. Moving on to, not the quarterfinal, the second round where Portugal beat Uruguay 1-0 thanks to a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. The eventual golden boot winner, of course. Carlos Sanchez sent off there. So Uruguay, not such a good tournament for them this time. Spain beat Russia 1-0, only 1-0. Morata with the goal. Croatia beat France 3-1, really good win because France went on to win the second highest number of World Cups in these simulations, of course. Denmark, who've done very well during these simulations, beat Argentina 1-0 thanks to a goal from Jorgensen. So Messi knocked out, he was actually playing up front as well. I know I've said previously that he basically played in midfield the whole time, but he did actually play up front in this in this simulation and he really did underperform. Brazil beat Sweden 3-1. Neymar, Coutinho and Douglas Costa with the goals to send them through. Serbia. It took penalties to beat Mexico. What a game this is. Mexico opened the scoring through Giovanni Dos Santos. Markovic equalised in the 14th minute. Maximo, Maximovic scored in the 30th before Hanenda scored in the 51st. A late goal in... Uh, Extra time, 99th minute, Luka Jovic, but Hernandez once again, 100th minute, so it went down to penalties. What a game this is. And Hernandez and Dos Santos missed, with Serbia scoring all their penalties and sending them through to the quarterfinals. Excellent stuff from Serbia. England beat Senegal 3-1 thanks to Klein, Kane and Lingard. Nathaniel Klein involved, I very much doubt that's going to happen at this year's World Cup. Uh, Babacar with the Senegal goal. Belgium, comfortable win against Poland. 2-0, Witzel and Origi with the goals. But Mert Mertens picked up an injury. So quarterfinals, Portugal beat Denmark 2-1. Good win for Portugal. Ronaldo scored again. And Bernardo Silva got the winning goal. 1-0 win for Spain against Croatia, thanks to a Murata goal once again. Brazil beat Belgium on in extra time. Gabriel Jesus and Douglas Costa with the goals. But three injuries for Brazil. They suffered in that one. And what a win for Serbia, beating England 1-0. Thanks to Matic, of all people. Let's have a look at his goal. Of course, they've got Milinkovic Savic as well. They've got some really good players, Serbia, haven't they? Uh, Tadic as well, of course. He took the corner. And there we go, Matic at the back post, poking it home past the keeper, who was Tom Heaton in this particular simulation. Semi-finals then. Portugal lost on penalties. So Serbia really did scrape through a few of their games. They scored goals, they conceded goals. And two of these games against Mexico and Portugal, they relied on penalties. I want to see the Milinkovic Savic goal. He actually scored one of the penalties. Uh, in fact, Portugal missed all their penalties. So really disastrous stuff. No, they didn't. Sorry, I was misreading that. Cristiano Ronaldo did score. But this was one of the goals in this Pretty entertaining game, I reckon. Looks like it. 2-2. Goes to penalties. Lots of shots. In this is a really entertaining game. 22 shots for Portugal. 20 shots for Serbia. Five clear-cut chances for Portugal. Uh, oh, I've look I've clicked on the wrong... I wanted to look at the... Uh oh, that was the goal. Serge Milinkovic-Savic. And Spain absolutely thrashed Brazil. 4-1. Um, I'm not sure how many... Yeah, Brazil missing a lot of players because of injury. So they suffered. Fabinho got sent off right at the end, but they'd already lost by that point. Isco, Koke, Ramos and Morata with the goals. Third place playoff then. Brazil did manage to beat Portugal. Douglas Costa and Gabriel Jesus with the goals. But final. The final was won by Serbia. And Stefan Skipovic, Skipovic might, might have murdered that pronunciation. He got the winning goal in extra time. Carvajal got sent off in the 15th minute. Isco got injured who is one of the best players during this simulation experiment. So they were down to 10 men for the majority of the game, and they also lost their creative player. And they did bring in Iniesta on, to be fair. So, yeah, <laughs> not a bad replacement. Um, but Serbia eventually managed to wear Spain's 10 men down, and they got the winning goal very late on. Oh, I just imagine the scenes in Serbia if this happened. See, the thing is, if Brazil win it or Germany win it, it's kind of expected. Obviously, people will be happy. But if it's a... T oh, a mistake. A mistake for the World Cup final. Sergio Ramos, was it, that made the mistake of all people? But yeah, if like an unexpected team wins the World Cup final or does really well in the World Cup, it just means so much to the people because they're just not expected to. Like with England, I don't really care. I don't care about international football because England are boring. 
And I, I'd rather, I feel, I mean, I'd probably be accused of being terrible, terrible Englishman, but I'd like, I'd, I'd rather Iceland do well. <laughs> and I really like Belgium because they're golden generation. But that's another matter altogether. Anyway, let's, let's have a look at the awards. And Isco did actually win player of the tournament, but Milinkovic Savic managed to finish second, as you can see there. Uh, with Thiago third top goal scorer Cristiano Ronaldo gets it it's done on uh, if it, if you're level it's done on assists I'm not sure if that's how it's done at the World Cup I thought it might be done in like fewer appearances so I would have thought Griezmann would win it because he scored five goals in four games whereas the other two scored five goals in seven games but perhaps perhaps that is the way it's done maybe it's done assists afterwards best goalkeeper was David Tagaya which is I guess predictable you'd expect him to be winning this because he's basically the best goalkeeper in the world at the moment best young player was Usmane Dembele and this is the dream team it always is 4-4-2 it must be just a standard thing I reckon uh, loads of Spain players in there but Serbia went and won it remember incredible stuff I think it's probably because Spain went down to 10 men and it allowed Serbia to win that World Cup but still that's what happened goal of the tournament was won by Edison Cavani let's have a look at this goal it was against Egypt if there's any more simulations you'd like me to have, take a look at stick the number in the description below I tried to remember put the Excel spreadsheet in the description below as well so you can have a browse through but this was the goal of the tournament I mean it's a good finish but it's not the best goal ever is it that's what I mean. Football manager sometimes doesn't really show the best goal. I want to look at the second one because it's a Peruvian player that scored it. Let's have a look at this one. It's against Denmark. I reckon this will be better. Let's see. This is when it's going to be a tap in from two yards out. Reina tackled, comes back. I mean, that's a better goal. That's definitely a better goal than Cavani, that's for sure. And lastly, the Nigerian, Awobi, got a goal against Iceland. This was the third best goal of the tournament. It's going to be an interesting game, Nigeria against Iceland, I think. Knocked out to the edge of the box. It will be... Boom! I think that's probably the best of the lot. I mean, it's less aesthetically pleasing with it hitting the crossbar as well. So thank you for watching this video. It was uh, great to see a different team win the World Cup with Serbia. 41st in the world rankings going on to be world champions. Very impressive stuff. But until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.